Having problems with your Apple TV remote? Does it keep disconnecting from your Apple TV? Well, there's a really easy solution and I'm gonna show it to you right now. There's a lot of folks out there that aren't real happy with this little Apple TV remote or the Siri remote as they call it. And I happen to be one of them. It's a little difficult till you get the hang of it. And even then, it does a couple of weird things that I'm not a big fan of. Like this trackpad up the top. If you're, if you're searching around for something, a lot of times it'll go too far or it won't go far enough or it doesn't respond right away. But that's not the problem we're here to solve today. What I wanna talk about is the disconnection problem. Now this remote works on Bluetooth. And as we all know, Bluetooth can be a little funky sometimes. But what happens is because your remote is connected by Bluetooth, if you have any other Bluetooth device that you're running, it can interfere with your Apple TV. For instance, I use my Bose headphones connected to Bluetooth in my Apple TV. But what happens is the remote keeps disconnecting. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your Wi-Fi router is nowhere near your Apple TV. A lot of people have the router right behind the TV. Some of them have the Apple TV on top of the router. That's gonna definitely interfere with your Bluetooth signal. So that's the first thing you wanna do. Take your router, move it into another room away from the Apple TV. Once you do that, check it again, see if that helps. That might solve your problem right away. The other thing that you wanna do is reset your remote. Here's the steps that I take if I'm having this problem. We're gonna go into the Apple TV settings. And here, you're gonna go down to remotes and devices. Click on that and then go down to Bluetooth. And when you go in here, you'll see what devices are connected by Bluetooth to your Apple TV. So what you wanna do is go to each device and unpair the device. Go right down the list, unpair everything. So what you wanna do after you've unpaired your devices is to restart your Apple TV. You're gonna go back two clicks and then you're gonna go down to where it says system. Click on system, go all the way down to the bottom to restart. Now, once your Apple TV has restarted, you wanna repair your remote to the Apple TV. In order to do that, get close to your Apple TV and you're gonna hold down the menu button and the volume up button at the same time. Hold it right near your Apple TV and you see it now says remote connected. So it's now reset your remote and paired with your Apple TV. Now, if all else fails and you're still having problems with this remote, you may wanna grab one of your game console remotes. I happen to have an Xbox remote here. It's real easy to pair up. All you have to do on the Xbox remote, there's a button right on top here. You just press and hold it until that light starts blinking, just like that. Then go into your Apple settings and you're gonna to go to remotes and devices, then down to Bluetooth, and it's gonna look for your device. And there it is. Just scroll down, select the remote, and it's gonna connect. You're gonna click on pair, and then it's gonna tell you that it's connected. Now you can use your remote, just like your Apple remote. And it may be even easier for you guys. Now, if you have a PlayStation remote, it's just as easy. You hold down the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. When you hold them down for a few seconds, the light on the back will begin to flash. Then it's gonna show up here on your Apple TV. Are you having any other issues with your Apple TV? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for today, guys. If this video helped you out, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button down below. I really do appreciate it. This is Rich Man. I'll see you in the next video.